Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody I am here doing a random collective reading. I wanted to give you guys an infinite energy oracle reading. I love this deck. <laughs> this reading is for the collective so it may or may not resonate with you. Okay just take what does resonate. Toss out the rest um, and don't try to force it right. And uh, you guys know the drill. You're pros at this now. And thank you everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, the love, the smiley face emojis. Um, really just thank you. Thank you for just sending me the love, guys. I, I don't get hate here on this channel and I'm just, um, I'm so proud of us and I'm so jazzed about the Soul Tribe. And just thank you for being kind to me every day, right? Okay, so I love this deck. You guys know. Um, I try to do a reading with it every day because I really do love it. Okay, so yeah, you are being divinely protected, um, especially right now. You're kind of like, I see you in like this little cocoon stage, right? You're going through um, some type of transformation. I'm, I'm getting the sense that you're getting... Um, you know, your abilities, your skills, they're getting boosted. Some of you may be getting downloads, feeling the need to research new things in the spiritual realm, okay? Kind of expanding your horizons, right? That's the feeling that I'm getting here um, with Be the Light and, uh, you know, this divine protection. I feel like uh, you may be just really pampering yourselves right now, too, Um getting a lot of rest, right? Taking bubble baths and um, feeding yourself really good food and, and um, you know, drinking plenty of water and getting out in the sunlight and just loving on yourself, right? Because I've been feeling like you're a divine feminine with Venus here. Um, yeah, self-discipline. You're speaking free, very freely too and you're entering into a cycle now um, that's going to make you very independent, okay? Um, I'm seeing a lot of financial freedom coming towards you. And it, just speak your mind, right? You're standing up for yourself as well. And that, just, if, you, if you speak your truth, it sets you free, right? From any kind of burden you might be carrying here. Son, yeah. And you're just, you've got this happy, positive attitude. Right now is your time of... I feel like it's you're going through a transformation here is really what I'm feeling like. It may even make you um, a little bit tired. Uh, it, you could have some symptoms, right? The, these are, um, you're being elevated, okay? Ascension symptoms. You're ascending. So, you know, go easy on yourself, right? Um, what's this obsession, gut feeling, yeah. You know, some of you could have something seriously on your mind, um, whether it's a person, it could even be money, because I'm sensing financial freedom here, something about your finances maybe. Um, I feel like it's going to have a positive outcome. I feel like you just need to trust, right? Use your intuition. I'm also picking up on a masculine energy here with some really erratic behavior right now, because your you're free here. You're, you're very, very light. Your energy is very light, very happy, warm, um, confident, putting love into you. You're, you're really focused on you and pampering yourself and giving your body and, and your, your soul what it needs. Okay. And that's you breaking away from somebody and detaching and they can feel that. Okay. It's making them act erratically. This is somebody who um, isn't very stable right now. They're overly obsessed about you. It's like manic obsession right now. Um, a lot of compulsive behavior, okay? Um, feeling very guarded. I feel like you need to be cautious at this time. This person may have been non-committal in the past. They may still be non-committal. But they don't like the feeling of you breaking away and freeing yourself from their energy. So they're freaking out. They're freaking out over this. I feel like you need to use your intuition. 
it does say that it, you'll have a positive outcome, but I'm feeling something getting stirred up here, a windfall, a lot of something coming your way, right? So just, you know, be aware of your surroundings and trust your intuition on this person, right? Yeah, this is a masculine energy. And they're very, very determined. It's that willpower, that determination, not really to get you back, just to get you, stop you from leaving and moving on. They don't like the fact that, um, and I've been pick, picking it up, the word is impenetrable. You are kind of impenetrable right now because you have divine protection literally all around you like a big bubble, right? Um, and you're supposed to let your light shine. Just, just do you right now. And that's what you're doing here. Um, and you're tapped into the divine. So you're receiving a lot of messages, a lot of downloads. And this is what, this is what your spirit guides want. They want you to, to focus on you right now. And this person, um, they, it's almost like they can't commit or they they may be non-committal, but, um, they're still determined not to let you break away. They hate that feeling. I'm telling you, they don't like that. They're not getting any of your attention. Yeah, this is coming to an end. This is coming to an end with this person. This is, this could be a karmic masculine. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that is, it's death. This is the death card here. Um, yeah, and the, as I feel like um, this is going to have a positive outcome because you're letting this situation come to an end. This is a cycle um, that's, it's the end of a cycle. And now you're doing all the right things for you at the beginning of this new cycle. And in letting this one end, that's when your success comes in. That's why it's having a positive outcome. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be an Aquarius. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who thinks they're always right. They may have a plan. This is somebody like who's an extremely intelligent, does a lot of strategic thinking on what they're going to say, how they're going to act. Um, this is somebody who may be like feel large and in charge, right? Um, yeah, and I feel very much like uh, they don't want to give up. They do not want this over. This is determination here. Okay, they don't want to, yeah, listen to your intuition on this person, right? There's going to be a, con a conflict here. They're going to... Conflicts, fights, disagreements, this is going to be a battle. Um, or that at least this person may want to battle, okay? They may want to cause a conflict, a fight. They're upset. They're upset. They don't want to let you go, but yet at the same time, it's like they don't want to commit, but they just don't want you to move on, right? Yeah, you're about to get a phone call or a text message from this person, they're going to apologize to you, tell you they've got all kinds of regrets, may want your forgiveness, they may want to get back together, but this person, I feel like non-committal is the thing that stands out. This could be your twin flame here. This could be a divine masculine. I kind of get the feeling like they're very karmic, though. That's just too many divine. Just be... I feel like you're just being silent, being still right now. You've got nothing to do with this person. Right now you've you've cut your ties and you're free from the situation. You've got divine protection, but this person over here is going nutty. And when I say nutty, I mean they're angry and they're very smart. They could have a very sharp tongue, right? They could be like they could lash out at you the things that they say are could very well cause a conflict um they're feeling really fighty right now does that make sense they're very fighty like they want to fight okay and i don't feel like this person really wants to give up at any time here um yeah but you're there's new horizons on 
you're leaving, I feel. You're leaving this person behind. Um, and they have non-stop. They're dreaming about you. You both could see each other in your dreams here. But yeah, you're you're looking forward to a, a new cycle. Yeah, this one year, you could have maybe something could have happened a year ago, or it could take some time for this person to do the work on themselves. I feel like you're both seeing reoccurring numbers, uh, re like repeating numbers, 111, 222, 333. Yeah, you could be seeing messages on billboards, hearing it through song lyrics, um, seeing it in your dream state, right? I feel like you're, you both could be dreaming about each other here. Yeah, communicating. And this person's trying to communicate with you telepathically, I feel. Could be dealing with the Virgo. You both could be dreaming about each other here. I feel like somebody's getting ready to communicate. What did I say about thinking strategically on what they're going to say? And here, communication and quick thinking is here. Yeah. You're detaching. You could have already done some kind of cord cutting. There hasn't been any contact, and you just, you detached. You let this person go. It's the end of a cycle. You had to move forward. And now you're you're doing a lot of healing, right? Getting a lot of messages. What did I say about the healing? Yeah. Um, opening up. I, I really feel like that's what I was talking about. Not just doing the healing and the meditation, but you're you're having the spiritual growth, right? Um, opening up to um, new parts of your spirituality, right? Uh, broadening your horizons when it comes to um, anything, anything new uh, spirituality wise that that you're learning here, you're expanding. Okay, you're expanding. Yeah, and and you're receiving gifts right now. A lot of a lot of help, a lot of support from your um, spirit guides. They're the first ones out. They're like, yes, we're leading this show. Thank you very much, right? Yeah, they came out first, okay? Yeah, but you've learned your lessons. You've done your healing. We've got a wounded warrior here. That's you. I feel like you were wounded, but you've become a warrior through this. Um, I, I feel like, yeah, you're... You're moving on. You're going through a transformation. And this person over here, and look, new moon. This is all happening right now, I feel. Strength, courage, resilience, recovery. And this is, I feel like this is you. Resilience and recovery. You're in a recovery stage right now. From now till the end of the month. That's really what I'm feeling like. From now till the end of the month. You're in a recovery stage. That cocoon stage. You know, your spirit guides, look at them as um, your nurses, right? Your nurses, your doctors telling you, you know, you have to follow the instructions to heal, right? That's what you're doing is healing. You're recovering. Um... And during this time, you're also getting downloads. You're getting um, a boost in your abilities. You're going to be getting your energy back. Eating good food. Um, getting a, a lot of rest, right? Um, sleeping like a baby. Getting a lot of intense dreams. Uh, those are downloads, okay? So pay close attention to your dreams. Yeah, what did I say? Self-awareness. Pay close attention. Um, and just listen to yourself, right? Listen to your intuition. Um, work on those chakras, right? Um, listen to what your body needs. Drink more water. Eat better foods, right? Pay really close attention. Be really aware of self right now. Um, 
Yeah, and have the confidence that, that you know what, what your body's telling you, right? You could be a Leo, or you could be dealing with the Leo, but you're going through some changes right now. Yeah, and I feel like um, this is what you want. You, you, you wanted to move forward. You're making that decision to do what's right for you. Yeah, and you're manifesting something new here. You're collaborating. It's almost like co-creating with the, with the universe, co-creating with your spirit guides right now. Um, let's see what your advice is. I feel like this person here, um, they're, they're feeling very fighty. I feel like you're pretty isolated right now, just taking some time for you to recover, right? Um, so I, and with this divine protection out here, you may get a phone call or a text message, but honestly, I feel like this person's going to have a hard time getting near you. Does that, does that, like they can't touch you. You know what I mean? Not at this time. Yeah, this is not a good time, says your spirit guides, because they're working on you right now. All right, you might not even be aware of it. Um, but they're working on you right now. All right, what else can you show me? What advice do you have for the collective? I love this deck, though. I got to tell you, the Infinite Energy Oracle deck by Luna Sage Soul came out this year, and I abs I'm, in, I'm absolutely in love with it. With Yeah, <sighs> this deck rocks, I'm telling you. All right, what advice do you have for the collective? Ooh, growth, right? That's what I'm talking about. Um, the advice would be to, it, look, if you're interested in learning something new, start, start researching it, you know? Um, look into classes. Um, say you want to learn Reiki healing, go ahead and start learning it, you know. Take some of those online classes. Those are cool. Look into the history of things. Dig into your Akashic records, right? Um, I really feel expansion here, okay? I really do. So don't be afraid to try something new, especially when it comes to the spiritual realm, right? All right, what else can you show me? What advice do you have for the collective? Yeah, you're co-creating with the you're co-creating with the divine. They're leading you. There's your spirit guide right there. You're being looked over, watched over. Um and show your gratitude every day. Talk to them. They're here for you now, okay? It, during this healing stage. They're literally all around you. All right, one more card for the collective. Thank you. Yeah, you've made it to your path. You just need to climb up this rickety little ladder, right? And you're right there. You've come all of this way. I feel like um, I feel like this is like a healing, like you're standing here kind of healing, talking to your spirit guides. Your spirit guides are talking to you here, okay? And when this healing stage is done, you're like I said, you're going to climb up this ladder and begin the new cycle. This is the portal. That's that um, Lionsgate portal right there. And I mean, seriously, look at all the jagged rocks. And the gullies, you've been, I mean, your highs, your lows, your scraped up knees, you've, you have come so far on this journey. And it's almost like you're standing here and waiting to receive the next instructions, um, whatever downloads, like I said, that the divine has for you. And then you start your new cycle. Then you head through this portal, okay? So yeah, right now I feel like you, you need to kind of get your rest, get in touch with your spirit guides, um, do whatever you can to sort of pamper yourself and treat yourself really well at this time, right? Um, be flexible with yourself. You know, you're going to be tired. You are. 
you're going to be getting a lot of sleep, okay? You're going to be wanting to just relax and clear your mind and, you know, maybe get outside, take some walks, take some time for yourself. It's okay. You may experience headaches, a little bit of dizziness. Um, work on those chakras too. I've been noticing my throat doing weird stuff. Um, so, you know, I have to work on that, right? That kind of stuff. Um, eat good foods, drink a lot, plenty of water. Um, just do you. This time right now is to receive the downloads and get your rest and to go through this transformation stage. Then you're going to get, you're going to hop right in here through this portal into your new cycle. Okay. Yes. Anyway, collective, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. <coughs> See, it's the throat thing. This is what I've got for this reading. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you like this video, please click that like button, right? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, if you like this vibe and it resonates with you, join the family here, right? And until next time, Collective, take care of you and peace out.